When I was growing up way back in the 1970s, uh, Space 1999 was one of my favourite TV shows. I can remember watching it almost uh, every Sunday lunchtime. And later on, when Product Enterprises started making some of these very nice die-cast models of the Eagle spacecraft, I decided I just had to get some. Um, I've got the Eagle Freighter here. These were seen, I think it was only in the, might have only been in the first episode. Uh, they could have appeared in, in some of the others um, when they were trying to move nuclear waste away from the disposal site before it could all explode. And then later they had a very souped up laboratory eagle um, with booster rockets on, which I think was seen at the start of series two, the episode of the Metamorph. Uh, and this one came as part of a pack, which also included the laser tank, or one of the laser tanks, there were several different versions of that, and a little moon buggy. And all of these are one to 72 scale. Uh, and very highly detailed. They go for big money now on eBay. Uh, I would add some more if I could afford them. Um, anyway, I recently decided I was going to start doing some fan fiction uh, based around Space 1999. Obviously, 1999 has come and gone many years ago, so I decided to call my version Space 2299, and I decided I wanted to modify the appearance of the Eagle spacecraft slightly uh, in the way I would describe it, because there is a flaw as I see it, and that is this bit here. Now, on this module and on the standard passenger module, there is an outer hatch on each side. And in the TV show, a boarding tube would move in on the launch pad, lock on here, and the people can move between the Eagle and the moon base in safety. However, if we detach this, as happened in some of the episodes, you are left with that. And there's nothing for the boarding tube to lock onto. Similarly, if you've got one of the alternate versions, there's nothing for the boarding tube to lock onto. And the only way that the crew can get in and out is for the Eagle to be taken down into the subsurface hangar, and if necessary, for that to be removed. Which, if you're in a hurry to get in or out of the ship, might be a bit problematic. So, I decided that for my version, I was going to modify the model and of course, as I've said, these are expensive now, so I'm not going to modify a, a product enterprise diecast eagle that's worth a few hundred pounds. So what I instead did was bought the MPC 1 to 72 scale eagle transporter model kit. Now, most of it I assembled as normal so that I would have that sort of arrangement with the eagle because that's all fine. And then, as I've done in so many things before, I made some cardboard prototypes of what I wanted to do. And you'll see that I've split the module into two. Now I have a dedicated airlock, which goes under here, and this would be fixed as part of the spacecraft. So now the boarding tube can always get to the Eagle, whether or not it's got a module, and regardless of what the module is. And then, a slightly shortened module, which this is the passenger mod module version, That's, would go in behind it as normal. And of course, I can't just leave the cardboard, so I turn that into plastic card. And here you can see I've got the airlock module here and the shortened passenger module here. Now, I also took the opportunity to make a few other modifications. The kit uh, is not very detailed within the framework, so I just added some little bits and pieces at the rear there, and also at the front. And there's a couple of bits at the front I'm going to uh, pay close attention to. First of all, I've got this bit here, this tube coming up from the airlock module. And if we flip it over, you'll see I've also got a very short one there. 
and I envision these as being upper and lower hatches so that if two eagles meet in space they can actually dock against one another using those this bit here would be telescopic I've used uh, the gun barrel from uh, an Imperial Guard demolisher kit to give it the appearance of being able to move up and down uh, I also added this here there's a magnet in there there's a matching magnet inside the passenger module so that it can fit together and it will stay in place reasonably well now in the second series the eagles had a laser turret here so i've added a turret of my own uh, it is rather fiddly it's made from the imperial guard stormtrooper um hell hell black no no Hot shot volley guns, that's it. Two of them. And that unfolds to give a twin barreled point defense weapon. And likewise, although several eagles were shown to be armed with lasers in the TV show, you never actually saw where the laser was mounted properly. So you might have noticed when I flipped it over earlier, I've actually mounted some very prominent cannons underneath. Uh, again, using hotshot volley guns from the Imperial Guard, only these come from the Torox kit, so they're larger. And then the extra bits that mount them on, those are made from Tau Battlesuit Fusion Blasters. So, that gave me the Eagle. But I decided that I didn't just want to update the Eagle. And there was another spacecraft in Space 1999 that was actually only ever seen in one episode. And that was a dedicated combat ship called the Hawk. And fortunately, MPC also do a 1 to 72 scale model of the Hawk. And again, I have upgraded this. This model is actually a lot more detailed than the Eagle model, uh, which in some ways is good, but in other ways it's a bit fiddly but it didn't need much modification. I added this turret here that uses an old, one of the old wheels that you can't get anymore from the Imperial Guard tank kits back from when they were a lot better than they are now. And on that, I mounted a turret that again, mounts a twin linked point defense weapon made from hotshot volley guns taken from Imperial Guard Stormtrooper kits. And the majority of the modification was carried out at the front and if I flip it over, we'll be able to see it better. You'll see I've given it very prominent cannons on the wing, very in the same way as I did with the Eagle. Um, the original version had a sort of rocket pod on the end of the wing, and then a box-like missile launcher inboard. And I've replaced the inboard missile launcher with a, a, a single large missile pylon. That's a hunter killer missile from the Imperial Guard Sentinel. And so I've got one of those under each wing, and then you'll see there are more missiles here. This area was enclosed and I cut a hole in it to create an inboard weapons bay. Uh, I've just put a couple of missiles showing there. Uh, I picture that as being um, something they could put different weapons in, heavier missiles for engaging ships, bombs for ground targets and such. Now, part of the lower hall did have some more of these downward thrust units. And so with some of those spare, I carefully removed them and I added those to either side of the engine pods. So that gives me a craft that's got a bit more manoeuvrability. Uh, this kit also comes with a stand. Uh, and actually, I won't try and fit it in. It, it hooks under there. And it's probably a bit difficult to do when I'm trying to do all of this one-handed. So anyway, these are my modified... Uh, Space 1999 Eagle and Hawk model kits um, this is how I envision them in my fan fiction which is called Space 2299 I'll be putting it on my website soon and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>